Hey there, welcome to Jemai Toys. Here we are once again with another unboxing and review video. I've had this figure for a while and I was thinking to save it for Judgment Day, August 29th, but here he is for 4th of July, the Terminator 2 T800 Battle Damaged. But first, remember to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any future content like this. So let's take a look at the box first. It's a beautiful box as you can see it says DX13. This is the first time I ever review a DX figure and they always come with these really nice boxes. It's kind of made of a hard cardboard and got the leather wrapping around. It's got a magnet. That part there is magnetized and this is the back. Not a whole lot to see but credit to the people who made the figure and this is the top. So opening the box, this is what you would see. T800, all those bullet holes that go through the, through the box, the front cover. And here is, says something about um, at the end of the scene, that one last scene, the emotional scene where he says, uh, crying is something I could never do. So you do have that leather piece. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. So taking a look, a closer look, that is at the box here, you do have this cover protecting the figure and this just slips right out. It's a leather piece with some battle damage, simulating kind of the jacket and it's attached to this piece of cardboard. It's a nice, nice detail. All DXs kind of come with something in the realms of that. Very nice presentation here and I'm gonna pick out one of the accessories first as I usually do and we're gonna take a look at this statue of the T-1000 one of my ultimate favorite villains actually Terminator 2 is like one of my ultimate favorite movies I stick my finger in here how that feels it's weird <laughs> I don't know why I'm sticking my finger and stuff um, you do have this very nice chrome plated very reflective very like the Mandalorian that Hot Toys just released hopefully it's not this reflective but um, yeah and it does come with a head sculpt kind of morphing it does move as you can see this is not the special edition so it doesn't come with that additional head sculpt that looks more like Robert Patrick but that's the base it's really stable as you can see it just stays right there actually you can kind of use them to stabilize the figure I'll show you that a little bit later when he's punching through that hole removing this tab I want to call it this really nice presentation as I said I love DX releases and here's the figure with all the hands and the extra head sculpt. Let's pull this guy out. Let's check out Arnie with all his beautiful battle damage. Here you can see the head, all that wet flesh and the endoskeleton underneath you can see. Very, very nice as you can see here. Very beautiful, I just, I, I'm gonna say that a lot, beautiful battle damage, if that makes any sense. Because that's what you get here. You do have some tread on the boots. It's made out of pleather, but I haven't had any issues yet with this pleather looks, I was showing you the tread a little more, but this pleather looks very much like leather. Very much like the leather jacket and pants that Schwarzenegger wore in his role of Terminator. And here I'm showing you the back detaches with a magnet as I showed to reveal the joystick to adjust the eyes with the PER system. Just so you can see. Some figures are, it's kind of a hit or miss with Hot Toys, the PER system. Some the eyes don't look right when they add this feature. But in this case, I think Hot Toys, this is when they really um, adjusted or perfected their craft I want to say when it comes to the per system as the end of Indiana Jones release I wasn't too happy with the likeness of Harrison Ford but here great likeness as you can see and here I'm showing you the chest area all that battle damage the endoskeleton underneath all the bloody wet look 
really nice. This is a single joint, but I guess it gets the job done. We usually don't do articulation demos. I mean, it's pretty much everything you'd come to expect with a Hot Toys figure, minus the one uh, joint for the knee there because it's the endoskeleton. But really sweet, really like this figure. Let's take a look at the additional jacket here. This is the extra battle damage jacket. That's what I'm gonna call for the, because this is battle damage and extra battle damaged. Here we have the base and the manual. So here you just kind of have this clamshell I want to call. You can slip this whole piece out. I'm just showing you to reveal. Is he does come with quite a few accessories. I'm going to show you that in the accessories section, as well as that um, adjustable cradle for uh, the base. So speaking of, here's the accessories section, starting with the hands. These hands do have a lot of detail, as you can see. I mean, look at this. All that flesh, all that wet blood. Really love the wet look it has. And um, the endoskeleton, of course. You can see that underneath, like the bones. Only his bones are of metal. Machine. And the battle damage does match for the correspondent hand. On the other side, same situation. Got some nice battle damage. I like this, how that looks. Kind of reminds me of Luke. Luke's battle damage when he was uh, hit by a blaster. And yeah, of course they match, as you can see. Yeah, real sweet. Very nice by Hot Toys, this release. And of course, speaking of nice, this is the extra battle damage head sculpt. If I can get it to focus, there we are. And wow. I mean, look at this, quite incredible. Once again, you can see the endoskeleton underneath, all the flesh, the wet look of the blood, even on the back here. And then you can detach this piece here with a magnet as well, and it does have a switch. So you, it does come, I think the batteries do come pre-installed when you get this figure new. I didn't get it new, so I'm not sure, but it does, um, one of the eyes, of course, light up. The eye of the endoskeleton, I want to call it. But they do dim fast. Anyways, just want to demonstrate it. And of course, I'm going to show you later on the figure. And then you do have also purrs, a little bit different. Doesn't come with a joystick, but it comes with this, I want to call it a little plastic stick. And they can stick it in the hole there and adjust the eye. Yeah, stick in the hole. Nonetheless, let's put that back. If, yeah. So, next up we have the machine gun. And it looks really nice. It's got the strap, put it over his shoulder. And this piece here does extend. Just like the, probably the actual machine gun would. Not sure, I don't know too much about machine guns, but. And it does have this cartridge magazine with a bullet on top. Nice detail. Many Hot Toys have that. So this one, of course, is no exception. And next up, we're taking a look at the grenade launcher. It's got that kind of burnt look there at the what is that, the handle, I think? It's a damaged handle. And this part does articulate. And you can stick in the bullets. It does have another piece of articulation I'll show you later. It's just for, for your targeting. But these are the bullets. You can stick those in the bandolier or in the grenade launcher, which I'll show you. Really nice detail on the bullets as well. So you just put them in, put them in like that. And there you have a loaded 
grenade launcher with some battle damage of course this guy is totally battle damaged so just makes sense battle damage weapons next up I know we already took a look at <clears throat> excuse me but this accessory I just wanted to show you that you can actually remove the head scope and I tried the Arnie head scope but no it doesn't work it doesn't plug in I'm just kind of messing around if you've been watching my videos for a while you know I like messing around so I'm just doing messing around with the eye in the hole but that's not what this is for I'll show you later that's meant for a specific pose if you've seen the movie I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about you've probably seen this figure before if, as I drop the head stay stay there there we go so let's put the T-800 head back and <clears throat> here's the bandolier as I mentioned before you can put the bullets in the slots like that it's a very iconic look for the T-800 in Terminator 2 I think with all the bullets in there I really like that look and here we have the rod it's made out of plastic but it looks like it's made out of metal it does the job I mean I'm happy with it being plastic and it looks like a screwdriver tip there and here we have the battle damage arm extra battle damage for the extra battle damage look which I'll show you later you just plug that in and you would use the extra battle damage jacket which is this one here and of course it does have that as mentioned extra battle damage look for the arm like that so looks really good like I said really holding up well despite this figures age everything is holding up except for that belt which I'll show you it's a very common thing with this figure but this looks good looks like leather looks pretty much the way you know I remember him in the movie yeah I like it gets the job done now next up we're gonna be taking another quick look at the base I assembled it with the adjustable cradle and it does have this metal plate it says T800 and nice texture to the base this adjustable cradle is not so adjustable it's really stuck in there I don't know why and like I said nice texture simulating the, those last scenes when they're fighting you know T-800 versus T-1000 the floor of that place that has all the lava and then you can install of course um, this does come with a lighting feature it takes three AAA batteries I never really use this feature but hey you know it's nice pretty much comes with if I'm not mistaken every DX comes with this type of base and as you can see I'm putting it on Arnie's face and he's glowing so I'll show you later with the figure on top with a light up feature and here we have the manual Make sure you check the manual, especially with this figure. Is um, does come with a lot of things, and you don't want to break anything. Oh, and uh, last accessory, thanks, Arnie. Um, we have the pistol. It does. It looks really nice and shiny. It does adjust here, kind of like you're loading it, and it does come with a magazine with a bullet on top. I do have the MMS the original MMS of this figure and the gun looks this pistol looks much better much more shiny the way it should look so real nice thanks Arnie for holding up uh, hang on to that for me so let's take a look at the figure first well the figure on the base I want to say 
So as I usually like to do, just kind of have him standing there with his arms down. Just, just see how he looks just standing. Taking a look here at that knee, battle damage knee. It's beautifully nasty, I want to call it. So you can see all those bullet holes on the jacket. And this is just the first look first battle damage look the extra battle damage will come later I'm just gonna do it like the movie kind of in sequence but taking a look at the head sculpt here closer look going around so you can really see really nice likeness to Arnold Schwarzenegger as he did this is the best one as far as I've seen them all all the and I've seen some of the interbase too and I think I don't know, I, I, I haven't seen the Interbay in person, but yeah, I think uh, as far as I've seen, this is the best. 1 4 scales, of course, will look better, you know. That's why I was mentioning the Interbay looks pretty good, but uh, this is my favorite from what I've seen. Definitely from Hot Toys, this is my favorite as far as uh, what they've output in terms of T800 figures. And as I showed you before, you can it does it does magnetize on there that back, and it doesn't look bad. You can't really see the seam. They really blended it well within the hair. Taking a look at the rest of the pants here, the leather detail or damaged detail, I want to say on the leather, but the leather detail is good too because it looks like leather. Here, turning on the lights again with the figure on the base. You can see here, it does catch slightly the lights, but what I'm gonna do is turn off the lights so you can see a little bit better. And you can point the lights, you can just kinda adjust them as I showed you before. I like to ad adjust them so they're just kinda pointing at the figure. Like I said, it's kind of a gimmick, but no, it's nice that Hot Toys includes it. I thought it was pretty cool the first time I got my my very first DX, which was the Batman, um, 1989 Batman. I remember thinking it's kind of a cool feature, but never really used it. But there it is nonetheless. So here I'm going for my first pose, the semi-battle damage, I want to call course with the bandolier on straight up looking he's getting ready maybe getting ready to attack that t800 that dangerous liquid guy <laughs> I want to call it liquid metal guy I'm trying to remember polyalum oil or something he says <laughs> There was a certain name for it, I remember. He tells um, Edward Furlong, uh, John Connor, liquid metal. That's the that's the easy way to remember. But yeah, he's uh, loading up one of them bullets, getting ready to blow him up. Here I wanted to show you a close-up of the battle damage knee. Is There is quite a bit to see. I mean, look at the torn leather flesh yeah and here now he is this is a pose I ripped off from the movie of course where he is searching for the t800 and then he basically gets his butt handed to him this guy unfortunately by the t800 I hear he's searching He's got the pistol in one hand, grenade launcher in the other. Very iconic look, I think. Yeah. I think uh, looks sweet like this. It's a nice pose for him. I'll blow you up. So. Then we go on to 
the fight that carries on after that, which is he punches, I think he punches him in the head if I remember correctly, and then morphs into his hand. And you can definitely do this pose. I think I pulled it off pretty good and it looks like a little bit weird there, but he's kind of twisting his arm at this point. So it kind of makes sense. Try to do make it as realistic as possible. I really like how this looks. Look at that. Yeah, he's about to lose. T1000 definitely proved to outdo, of course, he's a newer model. So taking a look at the head sculpts, the, the two, battle damaged and extra battle damaged. You can see here there's quite the difference. I'm glad they included both of these. It's pretty awesome by Hot Toys. I don't do so much of this anymore. So you can compare. After that fight with the T-800, he just basically bashes his head. And yeah, even the back here, this is the back of both. So you can see. You can see the seam there, but in person it doesn't look bad. And then, of course, both are the same. Magnetic, if I can get this one off. Just like that. And you can't interchange them because they are a different design, as you can see. So yeah, just kind of wanted to show that. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at the battle damaged jacket versus the extra battle damaged jacket. So as you can see, all the bullet holes on this one, and. And this one is missing one of the sleeves. It's torn off. Here are the backs. So when he loses that arm, he uses the rod to chop off his own arm because he's trapped in that machine. So here's the arm I'm talking about. You just unpeg that unpeg this I want to say and peg the other one the battle damaged one of course you got to take off the coat I think that's obvious at this point I mean yeah yeah you have to I want to say you have to here's the battle damaged belt it's not supposed to be like this but you know it's battle damage so why not doesn't look too too bad with this figure but these belts Pretty much 90% of them that I've seen at this point are deteriorated. So if you get this figure and manage to find it, you can expect that if there is an, even a belt at all. Luckily mine had it. And this is the chest area you can really see, you can really see there. It's a lot to see in this figure, so I'm just kind of trying to show you as much as I can. Even the neck, you can see the bullet holes there. Kind of freaky him standing there with no head. So the jacket. Basically going to position the figure with the arms back put back like that, and that's how you can fit in the jacket. And here he is holding on to his rod. After he basically tore off his own arm so he could escape that machine that he was trapped in. See all the battle damage there. And at this point he still looked like this. This is when, yeah, this is when he was getting ready to face the T-800 again, yet again, with the rod. And then that's when he gets his, basically, head bashed. And we're gonna see that next. But I just wanted to take another look at this head sculpt on I'm just like I said, I'm trying to go in sequence. 
And then here we have the extra bashed head. As you can see, it's starting to dim the light up feature. It's kind of a bummer how fast it dims, but this is after his round two with the T8, not T800, no, this is the T800, T1000. And this is basically how he looked. And at this point, I believe he said, uh, you need a vacation. And I can understand why. Look at that. Yeah, this figure is a beauty. I think many people in the community consider this figure uh, a grail piece. And I understand why. It's one of the best figures Hot Toys have ever made. It's quite amazing. Here I'm showing you how fast the light up feature dims. That is not amazing, but you know, it's not one of those things you are going to use so often, I don't think. So, here I had this Tobey Maguire Spidey handy for a comparison, so I thought why not just to show you. I think this would be about right. You know, so yeah, in terms of height, I think Arnold is 6'2", hmm, I've got a, yeah, 6'2", I believe. So yeah, and here he's giving that final thumbs up. Yep. Yeah. Destroyed the chip, and now he's got to destroy the chip inside of him. I can't self-terminate. So he needs to be lowered into the lava and then finally giving the thumbs up such a memorable scene so that's gonna wrap it up I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and review of an older figure I know I enjoyed it it's nice to take a look at this figure finally and yeah if you can get this figure I would definitely recommend him if you can find him is he is a great piece and if you love Terminator yeah great piece so with that said subscribe like and comment enjoy the path of collecting and I'll catch you guys next time what are you looking at what are you staring at what do you need